Hello folks, welcome to another tutorial and this time is going to be about REST handling and uh, handling stuff from internet. This is one of the most important uh, things in Android and it's good to have a solid start and knowledge about it. Now I created a simple application here. As you can see it can get, uh, get some record from a server or it can get one of them, it can delete it, it can add another record and so on. So it's a like a simple REST application. Now before we begin, there are some stuff you need to take care of first. One, you have to have a REST server somewhere. Now I created this my own. And I tried to find a free one on on internet, but I couldn't I couldn't find in in reasonable time. So it's it's up to you to find a REST server in, if you don't have it already. After you you have your own um, server for testing or for application. It's a very good idea to get this tool from Google Chrome, which is cost called postman so um, go ahead and in google and type postman and um, and uh, yeah install it and it's a chrome application and here you can make your requests uh, and um, test them and uh, see what they return you have here the status code and get familiarized with this tool. See, you can here uh, make different types of requests, post, uh, all sorts of stuff. Yes, so uh, get familiarized with this postman. So let's get started. I, I have a, a very simple server that um, just returns me some object. So um, let's say I have this response. First, you have to be careful what type of response it is. So here we have a JSON array, and inside it we have some JSON ob objects. So uh, we'll have to create a model that matches this type of structure. I have here a simple application with uh, just a couple of buttons. Um, so at the moment they don't do anything and we're going to code them together. Now I already have my... Okay, so before we begin let's talk about what I'm using in this application. So I'm, I'm using the Retro Lambda plugin and um, I'm using retrofit because this is a number one choice for handling rest uh, stuff in, in Android. I have butter knife to, to help inject the views more easily. I have for logging instead of timber klog because I find it um, easier to use. And I have this one uh, annotations. Um, practically, if you're not familiar with butter knife um, in this K log, you can just make abstraction of them, but uh, you should be familiar at least with butter knife. Okay, so I uploaded this sample application so just this part here in my github repository and it's the ultimate android app template um, and it doesn't contain any any silly stuff just basic application you might want to to delete some unnecessary libraries like rating because um, you won't be using them also if you are familiar with Eric's Java and the MVP architecture, you can check out this template. But 
for now just remember uh, search this template in github and make sure you, you start it fork it see what's inside it play with it a little bit so I have my my simple application at the moment doesn't do anything and let's add uh, the plumbing okay so I already have set up my factory in an interface API because uh, you have to initialize this uh, retrofit and um, you'll find find it here in the sample API in the github library uh, maybe I'll put some links in the description if you want but um, you have to basically you don't have to remember all this stuff because you, you might forget to set up the, the breed timeout connect timeout the caching uh, you can just find it there also be careful to have certificate pinner um, for example so hackers can't uh, look at what you do at your traffic so sure here you should have HTTPS so uh, because my server is a local one this is my IP and this is my port to connect to my server but here you should put your set REST server I hope it's clear after you, you create this sample API first thing that we want to do is to get all so if we look in postman at uh, this method get user users it will return on a list of users so first we need to create this object here of users and um, the easiest way to do it in, in case you have um, a lot of stuff here is to go to a JSON schema to Pojo paste here your code and let, let's say I want to name my class user doesn't matter the package name select JSON select JSON and use primitive types allow additional properties you only need this click generate and it will generate for you a class the name user and we are going to use this class here in a under data model user class and for the sake of uh, readability let's generate also the string method okay so we have our um, our element from here now we have to put this element in a list and if we look this is a get request so how to do it in a retrofit so my server you write like this but get and uh, and here and here you write call um here you have to to write what you expect to receive so we have a list of users and I have to import this one too um and here we have to um this is an interface so here we define our function and um, it doesn't take any parameters because we're just simply co calling this URL what um, we forget to after the get you put the endpoint in our case is slash users so um, basically if you have here Ten other get get uh, requests, or here you can make uh, post ones. 
In here you, you can put some parameters and parameters uh, inside it. This file will, go, will grow a little bit, but it will be very ordered. So we created our um, interface method and let's go to our main activity and um, when the user will click on button get all first of all we want to in instantiate um, this uh, sample API and you do it like this and um, you trigger a request like this sample API get users in queue inside here we have to give a callback so new uh, control space callback and it's automatically created by us so here inside we have a response we can test if the response is successful um, I will just show you my um, an error stack bar so what I do here uh, I have a dialog factory which you will find it in github um, that has some dialog creation methods nothing fancy okay so i'm just um, displaying a, a snack bar with a failed message so if it's successful i'm gonna um, put it in a text view so uh, response first of all let's get it um, body user list let's test our application and see if we missed uh, some stuff so it's working we have a list of um, of uh, objects here that furthermore we can send send them to to a database or process or whatever we decide to do okay so we get them all now we want to get just one of them let's say record number one so let's go ahead and create uh, this so for getting number one, if we look at postman, we have to give a, a user slash uh, the user ID. So it's user and here you write the ID like this. So the response won't be a list, it will be just a single user. And inside here you use um, a pass. And it's uh, the pass name is id and it should be a string so now we will just copy paste all this part notice an error i'm reusing this um, stuff here this should be a single tone and you should inject it with dagger too but this for another lesson so what we have here get user another user id I, I will get it from my edit text and here we don't have a list we just have a simple user object
Actually, we can cook this snack bar here inside. In case some other errors happen. Okay. Let's go ahead and test it. I'm just going to create a record. Um, I created and it's the record with ID5. If I want to get it, oh no, I deleted it. Let's create it again. So ID5. This is what I expect to, to see if I ID5 here. So it's working great. Now delete is very simple too. Um, what we have to do, just add another stuff here. And it won't return anything. Okay, let's test our delete method. Why oh, I want to delete this file? And it got deleted. Now for the most uh, interesting part is a post. So as a post um, you have here some options. You have form data, form URL encoded, row binary. It, in your server and how the, 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 the server is created, you might um, be supposed to send a JSON file to it, or you might be supposed to send your data in some sort of form. Um, but let's say that you're supposed to send it as URL form encoded. Um, if you are supposed to send the JSON, you just click here row and send the JSON. But for URL form encoded, I'll show you how to do it. So here is how we test it um, in Postman and you see it returns 201 or 200 should be created. And uh, it's of type a uh, form URL encoded. So if you look at the documentation of retrofit, which you find it here, uh, you can see this part form URL encoded. Just copy paste it, you don't have to remember anything. And uh, let's use it here. You have to be careful. Uh, what is expected to be uh, here. So we have a slash user with an email and a name. Actually the documentation of Retrofit uh, says that you should end it with space here. With a slash here. Okay. So we have uh, create user and in the field I have to put email and name.
and my server doesn't return anything just returns a code 201 so let's put paste our code to post and here we, we have a create user and here we have to put two parameters email and name so You should probably do some validation here to see if uh, um, the user gave you the correct text. Okay, so this is pretty much it. should say created now um, if we check it um it's okay it, it got created but we don't have a message here like created um probably because the response here is successful uh, if you read it ah, it's in the range to some 200 so strange Um, but yeah, so pretty much, uh, pretty much this is it with um, retrofit. In case you have problems, you can enable debugging here. I already enabled it to, to debugging um, um, to basic. I can put it to body here. Like if I put the um, this debug to body I will have uh, much more logging information about um, what go goes wrong here um, this is pretty much it like to do a quick recap recap of the video learn how to use postman there are other tools except Postman, but Postman it's very easy because you can save them as different collections. You can um, those guys that work in the server they probably use Postman too, and they can um, just give you the collections with all the requests uh, samples that you can use. Next stuff, use this JSON schema to project to generate this stuff. If you don't want to learn how to to generate it yourself use my template because in my template you will have um, this sample api factory generate generating with cache with certificate pinning with all, all kinds of stuff already pre-configured for you and not the least spend some time reading the documentation of retrofit and uh, this doc you have to play play a little with it to to get it um, running so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial comment uh, what kind of tutorial you want me to make for you the next time have a nice evening